to thee we come, O Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we will go unto the altar of God. God Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we might worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now, I ask that you please make an examination of your conscience. For your penance for the next three nights, besides offering your morning and evening prayers, I ask that you would take one of the three readings as prescribed by the church to reread and in your quiet time to reflect upon the message. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shout joyfully to God, all you on earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim glorious praise. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for all that have come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, and receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you show those in error the light of your truth, that they may change their ways and return to the path of righteousness. To all those trying to live Christian ideal, the ability to scar all that is contrary to this aim, and to hold fast to all that is in keeping with it, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Eric, will you please come and proclaim the word? Please be seated. A reading from the book of Acts. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, who you have handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The graduates. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain, and seek after falsehood? Alleluia. O oh Lord, let the light of your confidence shine upon us. You put gladness in my heart. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know Him is to keep His commandments. Those who say, I know Him, but do not keep His commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps His word, the love of God is truly perfected in Him. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the heart, lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The 
the two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scripture. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem, You are witnesses of these things, the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. These words are taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. For the 40 days following the resurrection of our Lord, we read that there were many witnesses to his resurrection. From Mary Magdalene and the women to his apostles that evening, from the two disciples traveling on the road to Emmaus that Easter afternoon, to the 500 that Paul makes reference to in his first letter to the Corinthians, Jesus was to have all those who he appeared to to be witnesses and give testimony to his resurrection. Prior to his ascension that took place 
40 days after his resurrection, we read in the book of Acts the words of Jesus. He said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the world. Witnesses. We find that in the dictionary, some of the words that describe what a witness is. A witness is one that attests to a fact or to an event. One who gives evidence to an event. One asked to testify to an event. One who has personal knowledge of an event. Something serving as a witnesses or proof. My brothers and sisters, the word of God that is heard and preached in the Polish National Catholic Church has been elevated to that of a sacrament which bears its own sacramental grace and sanctifying grace and as serves as a foundation of our faith and it bears witnesses to this faith. We read throughout the New Testament following the resurrection that they were not only witnesses, but they also stated that their testimony was true from the Gospel of John. This is the disciple John who is testifying to these things and has written them. And we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them was written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. From the book of Acts, since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on us to those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the world, of the word. I, Luke, also decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account to you, most excellent Theophilus, that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. So what was witnessed by his disciples? It can be said, first of all, his teachings and his healings. As St. John commented at the end of his gospel, there were many other things that Jesus did. His various teachings and his healings are contained throughout the four gospel accounts. One passage that is found in the Gospel of Matthew reads, And large crowds came to him, bringing with them those who were lame, crippled, blind, mute, and many others, and they laid them down at his feet, and he healed them. So what else was witnessed? Can be said his own passion in his crucifixion. We read in the four Gospels the accounts of Jesus who suffered death by crucifixion. These events were to be viewed by those who followed the Lord to the place of his crucifixion. The severity of his passion with the events leading up to being nailed to the cross were written and witnessed by St. John 
who were present along with the women at his crucifixion. We read from the Gospel of Matthew. Many women were also there looking on from a distance and they followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. Jesus and the women present saw and witnessed his final words and most importantly the piercing of his body which we could call the death blow by a soldier whose lance in today's understanding ruptured the pericardium, a fluid sac surrounding the heart which caused the outpouring of water and blood. In the Gospel of John we read, but when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you may believe. They also witnessed the burial. We read in all four Gospels that following the death of Jesus, Jesus was placed in an unused, a virgin tomb, which was owned by Joseph of Arimathea. Scripture tells us of this event and happened, and that had happened and is found in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. From the events, my brothers and sisters, that took place 2,000 years ago, there are millions of people around the world who have experienced the presence of the living Christ in their lives and are his witnesses. Just as those who walked on the road to Emmaus met Jesus on the path, we too meet the Lord if we honestly seek him. I am reminded of one of the greatest lines that a great American by the name of Helen Keller once quoted. When asked about God, she said, I didn't know his name but I knew he was always there. And so I pray that this Easter season, that those of you who have experienced the living Christ may glorify him, those who are still seeking him, that you may find him. For it is in our witnessing to other people that we truly are the disciples of our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Niek bencha pafolonius is Christus. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one being with the Father, through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Let us pray. Praise the Lord on my soul. I will praise the Lord on my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Alleluia. Please be seated.
Through his death he conquered death for Horus, and by his wondrous resurrection he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we he joined the state with the voices of angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord, May we pray this day for the sick, the suffering, and the homeless, the hungry, the unemployed. May we pray for peace throughout our world. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers. May we give God our thanks for all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad, and in our humble and sincere prayers, may we remember and pray for all abused and neglected children, as well as all abused and neglected animals, and all victims of violence, both here and abroad. And Father, may we also pray for all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, and with spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, Again, giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, 
which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice in immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty. That we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, life, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name, their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example. We say with confidence, Peace in our day, supported by the help of your mercy. May we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit and in art, God. For forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. 
commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he has rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be
while and you will no longer see me again a little while later and you will see me because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Lord God, may the sacraments we have received be food for our souls and strength for our bodies. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice has been offered. Alleluia. 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 Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God. In the beginning, through Him, all things came into being, and apart from Him, nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, the life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him be empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thank you, Thanks, God. God. Thank you. 